guys welcome back how is everybody doing i hope you guys are doing amazing as you can see from the title of this video today i wanted to talk about how i became an airbnb host at 22 years old it has been a crazy wild experience my airbnb has been up on the website or the app for almost a year now and it's just so crazy to think about having an airbnb and i wanted to talk to you guys about how all of that came to be and just kind of like a little story time if you will and see if maybe you guys can get inspired and also become airbnb host if you have any questions about airbnb or anything like that definitely leave them down in the comment section i am new to this i've only been doing it for less a little bit less than a year so <laughs> so bear with me so basically i did an apartment tour not so long ago actually march of last year i did an apartment tour of my airbnb which is in beautiful costa rica if you guys don't know i grew up in costa rica and my family is all from there and i love the country so much it's literally my favorite place if i had a lot of money i would literally just live there it's beautiful my mom had actually purchased property in costa rica in like 2011 2012 around there and i didn't want to live where she picked the area but where she bought the property is actually like 12 to 10 minutes away from a bunch of different beaches and it's a beautiful place and it's very touristy like a lot of tourists go there and because it's the beach and stuff and it's beautiful it's tropical magical so she bought the property there she didn't start building her house till I would say oh man she didn't start building till 2019 2020 I actually moved to Costa Rica in 2017 went to college there and in 2018 I moved back to Florida it just wasn't a right fit for me I have a whole video about moving out at 19 so if you want to go watch that to my channel but I moved back here and I started working and literally busting my ass and then my mom was building her property in Costa Rica and the little plot of land that she bought and we wanted to build a second floor on top of her house that had a private entrance and make two apartments or two places where people could stay so basically my airbnb property is on top of my mom's property but like i said it has a private entrance so when i was here when i moved to florida i worked and worked and worked and worked and i sent money to costa rica to be able to build this property and I actually didn't get to see the apartment till 2021 and it was so shocking and breathtaking and just it's just such a beautiful place and to think that I worked so hard to get this built is insane with that being said I did build two places so basically on top of my mom's house when you look at it there's a room here and this room is kind of like a whole is I would say it's almost like a hotel room just a room with a queen bed and then another queen bed but it's a bunk bed so the queen is at the bottom and then an individual bed at the top and if it's five people um and then it has a its own private bathroom so that one's really nice and then next to it i have an apartment so the idea of this apartment was mostly so that if i ever moved to costa rica i would have my own place but also it's a great listing for airbnb because it has a kitchen a fridge a bathroom a room it has a balcony on the back it's very beautiful i'll post pictures up here so that you guys can see the property it's gorgeous we actually put up the property on airbnb on march march of 2021 because david and i ended up going over to costa rica for our four year anniversary and david was so kind and took photos of the airbnb for me which was why our photos look so freaking good um he's the best and he took photos for it and we were able to list it on airbnb he actually helped me with most of the listing stuff because i hate writing paragraphs and descriptions and he's just really good at writing stuff so i actually asked if he could help me and he wrote down like all my descriptions and then there we came up with pricing for like the airbnb property which pricing is a uh, was a little bit difficult because we're not like super luxurious but it's better than most places over there like it's very it's very nice and it's a brand new build like we literally just built it so you could say it's it's brand new so it's kind of hard to price it right now for the apartment i think it's at like 35 40 dollars per night per person and for the room is around 24 to 30 dollars per night per person i still want to make uh little upgrades to the rooms like i know my apartment needs like a new fridge like our fridge is freaking old 
and the little like the little room i would like to get like a mini fridge and like maybe like a coffee maker because right now that room is literally just the beds in the bathroom that's it you don't get anything to cook with or anything like that uh, but I do want to start making new changes and investing into it more. I will say becoming an Airbnb host has definitely been an experience. Like you have people who book and then sometimes they cancel. I remember my first booking ever. I was so freaking excited. I posted it on social media and the person actually ended up <laughs> she ended up canceling. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. I would say the first few months were a little bit rough. And there was a lot of arguments back and forth with not like the clients, but like with my parents. Because my parents are there. And we're just trying to figure everything out. Thankfully, my mom knows a lot of people in Costa Rica. And so she was getting the places rented by local people in Costa Rica who would just come there. Pay her instead of doing it through Airbnb. They would just show up, pay her. I would block off the dates on Airbnb so no one would actually book it and we were making money like that I honestly want to say it wasn't until November December that I started seeing a lot of traffic on my Airbnb my apartment has been fully booked basically all of November and December and now that we're in January is doing really good I'm actually really surprised that people are staying there in January so I feel like with more people booking and more people leaving reviews thankfully all of our reviews have been five star reviews so I think that has helped boost our like listing to show up on more people we get more questions more inquiries sometimes people don't book and they're just asking questions but even that is just like really freaking awesome like it really makes Makes me so happy to see that people are interested in staying and my mom also has her friends who want to stay and come over and pay her but yeah it's been really nice it's been a really cool experience I honestly can't wait to go back to Costa Rica and stay there I do want to say if you are looking into Airbnb I would say do it it's a really good opportunity there's a lot of chances of making really good money if every month could be like this month it would be amazing and you know it's just we're just starting you know it's only gonna go up from here and it's really really amazing I actually want to invest in a property here here in Florida with David um, I think there's great opportunity by like downtown area Disney area with all the parks and stuff I feel like an Airbnb would do really 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 good here I have had a couple of things a couple of hiccups that have happened in the properties and stuff which is very hard to manage when you're like in a different country but my parents are there and they take care of a lot of stuff for me and I love them so freaking much um and they're just great people like every time I get a review it's usually someone telling me that like my mom and my dad are like great people and they're so cool the two things that we have had issues with are the internet which are internet is not strong enough sometimes and a lot of people have noticed that are going to Costa Rica to work from home and they want to rent like an apartment and stuff which it's not my favorite thing like you guys would think that having someone there long term is better than having like tourists but tourists are so much better than people that are there long term because tourist people literally will go there just to sleep like they don't stay in the apartment i actually had a guest not too long ago where they would wake up get ready go to the beach come back at like four or five get ready shower and then leave and they wouldn't come back till like midnight just to sleep so they're barely there they're not using up any electricity when long-term people who actually want to live there they use up like the AC the water the electricity the cooking like all of that stuff so they actually spend more money than someone that's just there visiting because when people go there to visit they're not there to stay in an Airbnb but anyways I am grateful for all the guests whether there are visitors or they want to be long term I'm super grateful for both of them so the internet was something we had an issue with because people who were there for long term needed internet and the connection wasn't strong enough sometimes so we went ahead and fixed that and then the other thing we had issues with in december was the water our water supply for some reason was down because there were so many people in that area in december because it was packed and not only was the city packed but our house our airbnb both of them was packed and we even had people camping so it was full it was really full so the water supply was a little bit low we are looking to fix that and it's gonna cost it's gonna cost some money but it's something that we need to fix because we don't want to have this issue anymore with any other people so that's gonna get fixed and i'm super excited about that and then once i go to costa rica again i am hoping to just buy more things make the place better and you know like i said the mini fridge maybe a coffee maker i want to also have like a 
shared kitchen downstairs because we have like a sink and then electricity plug so we can plug in like a electric pan or something like that so people can cook and have that option because I know a lot of people do like to cook when they are on vacation. I know I love to be able to cook and not eat out so much because when you eat out, it's a lot of money and it's very expensive. That is my experience with Airbnb. If you have any questions or if you want to know anything about it, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description. I just wanted to tell you guys the story of how it happened. It was definitely a lot of hard work and a lot of money. But once you get there and once you are doing it, it definitely pays off and it's so, so, so worth it but anyways this is gonna be it for this video i love you guys so freaking much and i will see you on my next video